Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses and today we are going on with this beautiful book, More Than a Horseman, which is a collection of stories about the life and work of Tom Dorrance by his wife, Margaret Dorrance, and John St. Ryan. Well, the stories are collected by him. The stories are by many people whose lives he touched in so many ways, so much more than about the horses, which of course is the truth of it all. Anyway, today's story is by Emily Kitching. I never had the opportunity to spend time with Tom Dorrance, but I have had the good fortune to visit with many who did. I can say there is a common thread that runs among them all, and the things that impress me most are those traits that most assuredly have come from their time spent with Tom like a genuine joy in working with the horses, an honest humbleness and absence of ego in all that they do, a playfulness in dressing problems and finding solutions, and the ability to leave a horse and rider alone if what they are doing is working for the horse and the rider. I myself was only ever able to attend one Tom Doris clinic I was 17 years old at the time and I did not have the experience to understand all that was taking place. And although Tom was not the first clinician that I had seen, his approach certainly set him in a place apart from all the others. I also remember thinking to myself as I watched Tom work with the riders in a way truly different to what I was used to seeing that what Tom was doing was all very important. His attention to the detail of every horse and rider mixed with a bigger picture of what was actually taking place. Though I never had the opportunity to meet Tom in person, he has changed and continues to change my life for the better. In the nearly 20 years since that clinic, I have taken these ideas that have stuck with me wherever I go. Whether it's working with my own horses, operating my eclectic horseman business, writing an article or spending time with my family. I always try to focus on the details but never lose sight of the bigger picture. Thank you, Tom Dorrance. Beautiful story. <laughs> well, they all are in their own way. And I, I love the um, kind of coming back to his, uh, well, well, the humility and all that stuff. But it's, it's the sense of fun and playfulness, you know. And it reminds me of all the great spiritual masters, you know, like the Dalai Lama, for example. You know, he's so fun and playful. And, you know, for me, that um, says so much about a person, uh, of who they are and their gift to the world. I think it's... Uh, such a huge thing you know sometimes you see people so serious but yeah it's fantastic stuff thank you for joining me today keep tuning into the light and i look forward to see you next time